Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the President and the Board Members of the, Hizma of the King Hamad Global Center for Global Coexistence and the members of This is Bahrain, as well as the participants in This is Bahrain events held under the patronage of His Majesty in New York, USA, on the occasion of launch of the King Hamad Chair for Peaceful Coexistence at La Sapienza University, which is considered a new modern scientific specialization. At the beginning of the reception, His Majesty the King delivered a speech in which he welcomed the guests, expressing appreciation for their continuous efforts to promote the noble message of the Center for Global Peaceful Coexistence and to achieve its humanitarian goals embodied in the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration and presenting it as a global reference to promote the values of peace and tolerance and to affirm the freedom of religion. He expressed pleasure in the success of the guests' work program during their latest visit to New York and their organization of many events to inform the international community about Bahrain's civilized and human diversity. He congratulated the guests on the positive results of the high-level forum that discussed the role of religious leaders in providing peaceful communities which affirmed the kingdom's commitment and stability to support international development agendas. His Majesty noted the pioneering role of the people of Bahrain in forming a unique Bahraini model, deriving from their patriotic stances, strong will and enlightened convictions. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain will exert further efforts to remain a place of welfare and stability and will seek to bring comprehensive peace to the world and to make dialogue, rapprochement, respect and love the basis of relations between people. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the guests, and in particular to This is Bahrain, for its efforts in promoting the national success story in the area of coexistence. He congratulated as well Professor Sagioro on his appointment as Professor of the Academic Chair at the Italian University, wishing him success in his new duties to support the develop research in the field of promoting human rapprochement. He also wished everyone success in their distinguished endeavors to serve Bahrain and carry its message for stability of the world. Yatafadal Sayyidi Hadrat Sahib al Jalala, Al Malik Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بإلقاء كلمته السامية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحضور الكريم بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نرحب بكم في لقائنا هذا الذي ننتهز فرصته لنسجل تقديرنا لجهودكم المتواصلة ومساعيكم الموفقة في نشر الرسالة النبيلة لمركزنا العالمي للتعايش السلمي والعمل على تحقيق أهداف الإنسانية التي جسدها إعلان مملكة البحرين وتقديمك مرجع عالمي يعمل على تعزيز قيم السلام والتسامح والتأكيد على حرية الفكر والمعتقد في إطار العيش المشترك الذي لا بديل عنه لعالم متصالح وآمن لقد أفرحنا نجاح برنامج عملكم خلال زيارتكم الأخيرة لمدينة نيويورك وتنظيمكم للعديد من الفعاليات لتعريف المجتمع الدولي بالوجه الحضاري والتنوع الإنساني لبلدنا العزيز وبما يحمله من عمق وثراء كما نبارك لكم بهذه المناسبة النتائج الطيبة لأعمال الندوة رفيعة المستوى التي ناقشت دور القيادات الدينية في تهيئة مجتمعات مسالمة 
التي جاءت مؤكدة على التزام وقدرة مملكة البحرين في دعم الأجندة التنموية الدولية والإسهام بفعالية في تحقيق السلام العالمي ونود بهذا الخصوص أن نشير إلى الدور الرائد لأهل البحرين في تشكيل النموذج البحريني الفريد الذي يستمد خصوصيته من مواقفهم الوطنية وإرادتهم الصلبة وقناعتهم المستنيرة فهم على الدوام خير من يعبر عن الروح البحرينية الودودة والمتسامحة واليقظة في ذات الوقت لحصانة ومنعة المجتمع من مظاهر التطرف وتبعاته وستعمل البحرين وبعون من القدير لتبقى موطن خير واستقرار وسنسعى مع أصدقائنا وشركائنا ليحل السلام الشامل في العالم وليكون الحوار والتقارب والاحترام والمحبة أساس العلاقات بين الشعوب وكما قال تعالى في محكم الكتابة يا أيها الناس أنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم فكل الشكر والتقدير لكم مرة أخرى وأخص بالذكر جمعية هذه هي البحرين على جهودها في التعريف بقصة نجاحنا الوطنية في مجال العيش المشترك متوجها كذلك بالتهاني للبروفيسور ساجيورو على تعيين أستاذا للكرسي الأكاديمي بالجامعة الإيطالية متمنين له النجاح في مهامه الجديدة لدعم وتطوير البحث العلمي والمعرفي في مجال تعزيز التقارب الإنساني لمج سورة التسامح والوئام بين الشعوب متمنيا للجميع كل التوفيق والسداد في سعيهم الموقر لخدمة البحرين وحمل رسالتها لخير العالم واستقراره والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يتفضل سعادة البروفيسور أليساندرو ساجيورو الفائز بشرف ترأس كرسي جلالة الملك حمد للحوار Then Professor Saguiro delivered a speech on the occasion. Your Majesty, it is a great honor for me to be here in Manama in front of you. My first word is to present my deep gratitude for inviting me and some of the students from Sapienza to your wonderful country. Some of them are following the courses of the chair that bears your majesty's precious name and is dedicated to interreligious dialogue and peaceful coexistence. And I can say without any doubt that this wonderful experience will help them to learn more than ever. It is my duty to present greetings from Professor Eugenio Gaudio, Director of Sapienza, for your decision to create the King Hamad Chair for Interreligious Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence in our University. Sapienza has a long and prestigious story in the field of religious studies, but this new chair is deeply innovative and will help us to promote an eminently relevant aspect of the construction of knowledge about religions. 
The Magnifico Rettore is sending to Your Majesty a symbolical gift, the Medal of Sapienza, reserved only to the heads of state, with a special dedication in Your Majesty's name. It is also another part of my duty to present greetings from Professor Biagini, the president of the Fondazione Sapienza that was supported during the year 2017 by the Royal Charity Organization of Bahrain. In Your Majesty's prestigious name, the Fondazione Sapienza was able to help students from the areas of central Italy affected by the earthquake and promote a large number of activities that improved widely the mission of the Fondazione, supporting research, enhancing culture and excellence, expanding the number of events and scholarships awarded. The President Biagini is sending to Your Majesty as a gift the Minerva, the symbol of the heart of our university. Last but not least, I have to present the greetings of uh, Professor Emanuela Princivalli, head of the department in which the chair was instituted, a very relevant context of studies about Abrahamic religions, Oriental religions, world religions, anthropology and history, with a special focus on the history of Christianity. In this context, the chair will find the perfect humus to grow up and to become with, with Your Majesty's help and support, but also with the help and support of the entire university, a big tree in the heart of Europe and in the middle of one of the most relevant towns of the world. Rome is the eternal city and also a symbolic place, unique in its way of being. Thank you, Your Majesty, for your past and ongoing support to our university and to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, President of the Royal Charity Organization, especially in regard to our Fondazione Sapienza, that is the center of our capacity to help students, in particular students with different kinds of difficulties. Of course, we hope also to develop projects that will involve future students and young researchers in connection with the concrete realization of a large amount of activities related to the King Hamad chair. In these days, I have visited your town and I've met many people. I've been profoundly impressed by the idea of religious freedom that is a deeply entrenched part of the history of your beautiful country and is a strong project in your Majesty's visionary policy. I've seen so many religious places around the city and have met people for which leaving their religion in your country is a completely normal thing. Thank you again for your invitation. I would like to invite Your Majesty to honor us with your presence at the official inauguration ceremony of the King Hamad Chair that will be held in Rome on Monday, the 5th of November at Sapienza University. The King Hamad Chair will play a very important part in the future life of Sapienza, the largest community of students and professors in Europe with more than 100,000 students, 3,500 academics, 11 faculties, 63 departments, 81 PhD programs. The activities of the chair will be presented on three different levels. A bachelor's degree in history, anthropology and religions, a master's degree in religious studies, and a in the PhD in Religions and Cultural Mediation. Your Majesty, as of now my forecast, is that during this next year, 250 students will be studying the King Hamad Chair 
in interreligious dialogue and peaceful coexistence. The King Hama Chair will also lead a group of young researchers, training them in the field of the history and present day relationships between religions of religious pluralism with a special attention to the history and life of religious minorities. The focus of this teaching, training and research group will be the peaceful coexistence, both for the meaning in the past and for the real presence in our life lives. In fact, Your Majesty, following the example of the normal daily life as you live here, it here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Your Majesty, I have been reading with the great attention Your Majesty's bold words in the Kingdom of Bahrain declaration about religious peace as a political project for the future of humanity. I completely agree with Your Majesty's message and the declaration will form the foundation for discussion not only with the students of my university, but in all the possible situations in which I will act as professor. I used to say to my students that words are important, that words are heavy, that we need to know and to recognize them, to tell their history and to improve our knowledge. I found in the declaration so many words that are actually really outstanding and that speak so clearly to the message of peace from this relevant place, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the heart of the ancient civilizations, and the words that Your Majesty, in your role as the enlightened king of this country, want to send to the entire world. Some words should be used with due property. As I like to teach to my students, words that describe questions related to religious pluralism can have different meanings. They can have a positive meaning, a negative meaning, and an ambiguous meaning. Take, for instance, the word tolerance. We, we assume that we need to be tolerant, and we agree about that. But tolerance has a long history. From Latin, tolere, it had the meaning tolerantia, to accept the bad as a specific capacity of some people related to other, in which someone represents himself as superior to the other. To make a very long story short, this word is ambiguous, and we should prefer the words respect, friendship, responsiveness. Another very relevant word is the in the international politics is integration. We should remind that millenary cultures cannot be integrated in other cultures if this means that they will be cancelled. It is a challenge that we speak to the hearts and the minds of everyone without denying their identities. Reading the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration and visiting your kingdom, I've been thinking about the ideal of religious freedom. This is not only a word, but it is a concrete opportunity and a duty for those who lead the world. I'm impressed and excited by the, by the potential global influence of Your Majesty's noble idea of religious freedom. And I really hope that this will provoke a comparison with other countries in this region and also with the idea of religious freedom in other countries, including my country, Italy, and others from Europe and throughout the whole world, which in turn will improve the construction of a global humanism based on Your Majesty's compassionate vision. 
Finally, I will conclude with something very personal. When I was 20 years old, I was a student of the age of some of the students here. I was an optimist and an idealist. And I started studying as an historian of religions and training as a teacher in this field because I was convinced that religious illiteracy was one of the major causes of conflictual relations between people and cultures and religions. I am a very humble person, in a way of humble origins. I have never lost my hope to contribute to fight against religious illiteracy. That is, if I may quote Your Majesty's words, the ignorance is the enemy of peace. I would have never imagined, as I reached my 50s, to meet such a noble and compassionate king like Your Majesty, bravely saying those words in such a clear and strong way. I have now the honor and the privilege to work for Your Majesty's global project, and I will do it with all my energies and strengths. Thank you. Grazie. Shukran. Sayyidi ya sahib al-jalala, ya dhurwata sanam al-watan wa qimmata shumukhih, then media figure Sumaya Al-Mir delivered a speech in which she expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the reception. She highlighted the values of coexistence and harmony between all religious groups in Bahrain, which followed the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She added that the King Hamad Chair for Peaceful Coexistence has received international recognition. Al-Mir praised the efforts of His Majesty the King, which resulted in many achievements for the Kingdom in the field of coexistence and wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. The attendees and a delegation from La Sapienza University, as well as the professor of the academic chair at the university, then greeted His Majesty the King. حافظة للعهود حاضنة للوحدة الوطنية بعباءتها وبرايتها الخليفية بروحها وبوجدانها وباعتزاز أبنائها فنحن اليوم يا صاحب الجلالة نقف وقفة صناديد حق في كل أصقاع الأرض حاملين نموذجا فريدا في التعايش السلمي والتسامح بين الأديان والأعراق لم يأتي إلا بفضل رؤية حكيمة وبصيرة نيرة لملك من الله تعالى به على هذه الأرض الخالدة جعل من المحبة والتعايش والسلام والتسامح أسسا رصينة وركائز متينة لحكمه قولا وعملا سيدي يا صاحب الجلالة بالأمس القريب وقفت وفود العالم إجلالا واحتراما لحكمة جلالتكم عندما زينت أربقة البيت الأممي في نيويورك بإنجازاتكم في مجال التعايش السلمي فقد وضعتم النقاط على الحروف وقدمتم ما عجز عن تقديمه الآخرون وقدرتم المستقبل برؤيتكم المستنيرة حق تقدير فأشادوا بالأمن وبالاستقرار في البحرين وأكدوا بأنها من أهم الدول الجاذبة للتطور والتقدم والبناء وترسيخ السلام كما وسنشهد يا سيدي في الأيام القليلة القادمة التدشين الرسمي لإنجاز أكاديمي رائد يتمثل بإطلاق كرسي الملك حمد للحوار بين الأديان والتعايش السلمي في أحد أعرق وأكبر جامعات أوروبا وهي جامعة سابيانزا الإيطالية التي يلتحق بها أكثر من 120 ألف طالب وطالبة الكرسي تنافس على شرف رئاسته أكبر الأساتذة الأكاديميين ليضيف تخصصا حديثا في قسم العلوم الإنسانية في تلك الجامعة العريقة 
سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى إنما قدمتموه للبحرين جعلها لا تكون إلا في الصدارة وفي الريادة فردوسا يقصدها الناس من كل صوب تنصهر على أرضها كل الأعراق والأديان والمذاهب والأرواح والدماء نحو هدف واحد وهو بناء الوطن يدا بيد وساعدا بساعد يحلقون في فضاءات العالم بالعلم وبالإنجاز ويتسلحون بالسلام وبالمحبة فطوبى لراع حكم فبنى فأحكم بناءه وهنيئا لشعب ضربت جذوره ميادين العمل وبلغت أفرعه سماء الإنجاز يقف ثابتا بوسام عز على صدره هو اسمك يا حمد هو اسمك يا حمد شكرا The professor then presented the Minerva Medal from President Viagini to His Majesty the King from La Sapienza University, which symbolizes wisdom and is only granted to leaders of countries. Today is a very proud day for the Kingdom of Bahrain and for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa because here at Sakir Palace um, the professor, Professor Alessandro Sagioro from Sapienza University in Rome has come today to formally announce that the inauguration of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at Sapienza University will take place on the 5th of November in the historic beautiful city of Rome. Sapienza University was formed in 1303 and uh, this is Bahrain has worked on this for three years this project for His Majesty the King because His Majesty's visionary um, leadership philosophy with religious freedom and peaceful coexistence at its heart is not just a gift for Bahrain now we have the King Hamad chair which is a gift to the world from His Majesty and the professor here today spoke so beautifully about his experiences in Bahrain and how the Bahraini society, the rich history of Bahraini's peaceful coexistence um, will be a model for the world to study. And although this is Bahrain began with international roadshows and conferences and dialogues, this has moved everything to a completely new level now. This is the world's first academic discipline in interfaith dialogue and peaceful coexistence which shares the noble name of our king. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and it will be um, this year. Will begin with 250 students from all over the world, and the disciplines to be studied will be a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a PhD um, in various um, different topics related to peaceful coexistence. It's a big honor to be here um, as a. Uh, the titular of the chair in uh, uh, the name of His Majesty King Hamad. Um, this chair is dedicated to um, a peaceful coexistence and interreligious dialogue. In Rome, Sapienza, one of the largest universities uh, of Europe, uh, we will teach uh, religious pluralism and uh, questions related to religious freedom to our students. 
We hope also to improve relationships with uh, uh, Bahrain and to build a bigger and relevant friendship between our countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired a work meeting today at Qudaybiya Palace to determine the future vision of the government and to lay down its basic frameworks in light of the outcomes of the workshops, policies and initiatives that resulted from it, as well as the financial balance program. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government's priorities in the next stage is the sustainability of resources, maintaining economic development, increasing Bahrain's competitiveness and ensuring that citizens receive the best government services in a secure and stable environment. He directed to base the future strategy on the principle of the priorities of the government are those of the citizen. The Prime Minister noted the high levels achieved by the government, which granted Bahrain international recognition, affirming the government's biggest challenge is to maintain what has been achieved in terms of development to meet the needs of citizens. During the meeting, His Royal Highness reviewed the government's achievements in its action plan in economic, social and legislative fields. His Royal Highness said that the economic situation poses a challenge for governments and noted that the responsibility to deal with this challenge. He also noted that the government's priority is the interest of citizens and to create a stable and developed environment for them. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiya Palace today the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, who presented to His Royal Highness the United Nations Interagency Task Force Award. The award was granted to the Ministry of Health in recognition of its outstanding contribution to the achievement of sustainable development goals related to non communicable diseases. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the Bahraini capabilities in the field of combating non communicable diseases which resulted in this accomplishment stressing the importance of preserving the achievements of the kingdom in the health field through focusing on research and training opportunities for Bahrainis in international health centers his Royal Highness congratulated the Minister of Health and the affiliates of the Ministry on this international achievement, hailing their efforts in providing highest quality services for citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which received the recognition of the United Nations. He expressed pride in the achievements of the Bahraini people, which reflect their skills and talents, affirming that these achievements came as a result of the continued efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in investing in the human capital. His Royal Highness highlighted the development of the health sector, which aims at providing the best services to all citizens and residents. He affirmed the government's keenness to further develop the health sector due to its importance in supporting sustainable development in the kingdom. For her part, the Minister of Health expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his unwavering support for the health sector and medical competencies in the kingdom, wishing him further success in bringing about more achievements for the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Kai Thamu Bokman. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the strong relations of friendship between Bahrain and Germany, noting the development of these relations at various levels. He affirmed the keenness of Bahrain to further develop its ties with Germany to achieve common interests. He affirmed to the German Ambassador that he will receive the support and 
and cooperation of all governmental bodies to help him carry out his diplomatic duties in strengthening the relations between the two countries. For his part, the German ambassador praised the Bahraini-German ties, asserting Germany's keenness to develop these ties on all levels. He also wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the Joint Air Force Drill Basic Liaison 2018 began today, implemented by the Royal Bahraini Air Force, with the participation of nine brotherly and friendly countries from Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Jordan, Egypt, UK and Pakistan. Upon the arrival of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, he was received by the Commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the drill director, and the heads of delegations participating in the drill. The Royal Bahraini Air Force commander delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for patronizing the launch of the drill, highlighting the drill's 30th anniversary. <laughs> وأن أنقل لكم تحيات وتقدير سيدي صاحب الجلالة القائد الأعلى القوات الجوية وأسلحة الجو في المنطقة خطت خطوات كبيرة في العمل العسكري الموحد أو المستقل وأثبتت كفاءتها في عمليات في السابق وفي الوقت الحاضر ونحن في قوة الدفاع نفتخر بما تم إنجازه من قبل سلاح الجو في العمليات الجوية والأرقام موجودة أنتم كلكم متطلعين عليها ما يعني ما أبغي أكررها في عدد الساعات ولله الحمد أو عدد الطلعات الجوية وجميع ما أنجز لليوم هو يعتبر إنجاز كبير يعني ندل على شيء فإنما يدل على كفاءة الطيار والقائد والفني وفريق العمل الإداري اللي يسندهم إحنا اليوم نرحب فيكم في بلدكم البحرين وبالأخص أخواننا القوات المشاركة ويانا في هذا المجال نتمنى لهم التوفيق وطيب الإقامة عندنا وبدون شك هذا التمرين وحسب ما ذكر قائد سلاح الجو ويمكن رقم ثلاثين تدين ثمانية وثمانين أهل ثمانية وثمانين يعني من ثلاثين سنة تقريبا تدين دولتين اليوم وصل العدد إلى أكبر وتمنينا بعد أن يكون العدد أكبر من اللي شاركنا فيه اليوم لكن إن شاء الله التمارين القادمة إن شاء الله بتكون بعد أفضل وبدون شك مشاركة الأخوان الضيف لنا دائما قدرات كبيرة قد نستفيد منها إحنا إن شاء الله في المستقبل فنتمنى لكم إن شاء الله تمرين جيد إن شاء الله وبالمناسبة إحنا أيضا عندنا تمرينين تمرين بحري في تقريبا في نفس الوقت في على مستوى دول مجلس التعاون قائم في البحرين وأيضا تمرين للقوات البرية على مستوى قيادات قوات درع الجزيرة فهذه التمارين كلها ولله الحمد إن شاء الله خطط لها في وقت جيد وأرجو من الله أن يعني الأخوان اللي مشاركين واللي مخططين ومدير التمرين لهم التوفيق والنجاح وهذه فرصة طيبة أن نلتقي وياكم اليوم وإن شاء الله نلتقي دائما على الخير وياكم مشكورين
Then the PDF commander-in-chief was briefed on the drill's goals and stages, as well as on the participating fighter jets and the means of command and control. The launch was attended by the Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab Saqar al nuaimi Director of the PDF General Command, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General, Major General Abdullah Hassan al nuaimi and Assistant Chief of Staff for Supply and Logistics Rear Admiral Yusuf Ahmad Malallah, as well as a number of senior BDF officers. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, received media figures from Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates. The reception was also attended by the Director of the Olympic Academy, Dr. Nabil Taha, the professional world championship uh, Sami Al Haddad, and the former Bahraini runner Ruqayya Al Ghasra. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that he kept his promise of winning gold in the year of gold by winning the Ironman World Championship held recently in Kona, USA, which came as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness added that after four years of trying, he was able to qualify for the championship by winning the Middle East Ironman Championship, which was held in Bahrain, and then winning the North America Championship, which was held in Texas, USA. He stated that the race was characterized by difficult stages and strong opponents, which he managed to overcome those challenges through his hard training and strong will. He, had that, he added that several people attempted to undermine this achievement and falsify its credibility, but their attempts have failed.
The Royal Guard held a celebration today, marking the winning of the Royal Guard Commander His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa of the Ironman World Championship held recently in Kona, the United States. The ceremony was attended by the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Guard Deputy Commander Brigadier Hamad Khalifa Al Noaimi extended on behalf of the Royal Guard personnel heartfelt congratulations to Major General Sheikh Nasser on the occasion. The celebration was also attended by senior officers and members of the Royal Guard who congratulated Major General Sheikh Nasser on the historic international achievement through which he demonstrated challenge, determination and defiance of the impossible. Major General Sheikh Nasser thanked all the Royal Guard personnel for their kind feelings, describing this achievement as an accomplishment for Bahrain and all Arab people. The chairman of the Isa bin Salman educational charity Waqf, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today inaugurated the Dr. May bin Sulaiman Al Utaibi Bahrain Bayan Preschool in Isa town. After touring the new school, His Highness stressed Bahrain's advancements in the educational sector under His Majesty King Hamad's leadership and highlighted the central role played by education in the kingdom's long term development. His Highness pointed out the importance of public and private institutions and contributing to the promotion of quality and competitive programs while simultaneously providing services in line with students aspirations his highness expressed his pleasure at attending the opening ceremony of this preschool and praised the efforts of dr. May bin Sulaiman al Utaibi in building such a progressive educational program wishing the staff and students success in their future endeavors the chairperson of the Bahrain Bayan school dr. al Utaibi thanked His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for supporting the Kingdom's educational sector, which keeps cultivating achievements. She also expressed her thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support and patronage. Al Utaibi stressed Bahrain's great potential to promote an advanced educational system and reiterated the school's commitment to contributing to this end. She concluded by celebrating the inauguration of this private educational institution that will care for students' work to prepare them for the school atmosphere and develop their personal skills based on innovative and world-class curricula and programs.
Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, today signed a memorandum of understanding with the Green Climate Fund (GCF). Executive Director at GCF, Javier Manzanares, signed on behalf of the GCF in order to review technical, institutional, and financial frameworks for projects aimed at mitigating and adapting to climate change. Whereas the signing ceremony was attended by a number of officials from Noga, Noga Holding, and board members from the GCF. The supervisory committees of 2018 elections in the four governorates of the kingdom continued for the third day in a row to receive candidacy requests for parliamentary and municipal elections. 301 candidates registered in the past four days for parliamentary elections, while 125 candidates have registered for the municipal council's elections as the committees closed their doors today at 9 p.m.